welcome back to Kidopolis with Miss Jessie. I'm Miss Jessie. This is Kidopolis for what for a while for now. Uh, we'll see how long it goes. We are in the month of November. We just had October and around the corner is December, but let's just focus on November. Let November have its time, okay? Um, the theme of the month is shout out, shout out, let them know you're thankful. Who's um, apostrophe E-M, well that's just short for them. So who's them? It can be anybody in your life, anybody you want it to be. Mom, dad, sister, brother, um, somebody who takes good care of you, a teacher, male lady, um, the Starbucks drive through person that gives you a cake pop when your mom gets a frappuccino. And of course, don't forget God, right? God is so important in our lives and it is so important and so good for our souls to remind him that we are so thankful for everything that they've done. So just a little thinking exercise for you that I want you to do is I want you to sit down right now, you're probably already sitting, and think about what your favorite day of the year is. Okay, do you got it? I'll give you like two more seconds. You there? Okay. Now, I want you to think about if you make that day a day to give thanks to God. Did you say your birthday? Some of you might have said that. Today's actually my birthday. I don't know if you knew that. But on your birthday or Christmas or Groundhog's Day, whatever day is your favorite day of the year, you need to stop for a second. Please stop for a second and tell God how thankful you are and grateful you are. Grateful and thankful are a little bit interchangeable, kind of the same words, a little different, but grateful and thankful for everything that he's done in your life. Celebrate it. Celebrate and let others, others know that you're celebrating it. On your birthday, say, I am grateful that God put me in this house with this family. I want you to know that I am grateful for you and that gratitude all of it, give to God. So I want you to think about that. We have a holiday coming up that it's really easy to remember that, right? Thanksgiving. That's what the whole holiday is about. The whole holiday is about being thankful, so it's easy to remember. So let's try and remember it all the holidays, okay? After Thanksgiving, what do we have? We have Christmas. Ooh, Nellie, what a day to be thankful for God and grateful to him for all that he's done in your life and all of the little pieces of like railroad track or sidewalk, however you want to vision your path in life and the path leading up to the path in your life that he set out for you to be the person that you are. So I want you to think about that. I want you to remember that. Please try that exercise with me. Um, I am going to be doing that. Oh, sorry, I forgot this. This is up for the week. Celebrate what God has done. So like I said, today is my birthday and I mean, it's kind of about me, right? It's a little bit about me, but mostly it's about the fact that God chose me to be here. He said, I want this this lady, this kid, to be on this earth with these people and talk to these people and be able to help these people. And he gave me people to help me too, right? Like there's people in my life around me that I look to God and I'm like, oh my gosh, thank you. So do that. If your birthday is coming up, what a great exercise for you. Thanksgiving will be easy, but just keep it going through Christmas too, okay? So you guys are going to watch the so-and-so show. We're going to come back here, and we're going to talk about our memory verse, and we're going to do prayers. Sorry, it's kind of short, but I think that I really just want you to remember that we need to celebrate what God has done. And also not just on the big days. But on the little days, but let's focus on the big days for now because we have some big days coming up. All right, go watch it. We'll be right back. Hey, what you doing? Reading. Ah, oh, wasn't sure. Uh-huh. <laughs> Oh. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> I forgot. Dancing. Oh. <laughs> Hello, everybody out there in the worldwide world. World, yeah. I'm Brandon. And I'm John, and you're watching the, the So and So Show, a show where we bring you chills, thrills, Ooh. and spills. Why didn't you do that? You said spills. No, I meant like, like spills, like you know, falling down. Oh, okay, I got it. Spills, like okay, oh, right. I'll just uh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Are you going to clean that up? <clears throat> right. Yeah. Anyway, we also hope we can bring you some truth about God and, and show you some ways we can honor him by how we live. That's amidst all the fun and hijinks. <laughs> hijinks. That is a great word. I agree. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. All clean. <clears throat> awesome. What's the plan for today? So glad you asked, Brandon. Mm. Today, I have invited someone on the show to talk about something I know you love. Ooh, crosswords? No. Alphabetizing? No. Sitting quietly alone? No, silly. Dancing! Oh, wow, I strongly dislike dancing. Then please welcome someone who knows stuff. And hit it. Oh. Thank you, thank Who you. Who are you and uh, what do you know? My name is Parker and I'm a professional break dancer. How did you learn to do that? I had an amazing teacher. She taught me all the moves and helped me fall in love with the art of it, you know? Now I can't quit. Oh, oh. I wish I could do that. You can, man. Oh. Everybody's got a little dancing in them. All you gotta do is let it out. Well, can you teach us? I can try. Whoa! Hey, that's awesome! You ready to dance? You want me to break dance? Yes! Aren't you excited? Yeah! <laughs> all right, let's do it. First thing, we gotta work on your wardrobe. You got anything a little looser? Oh. Will, Will this, this work? work? That'll work. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, let me show you some steps. Okay. Come on. All right, cool, cool, cool. Sure. Okay, so today I'm gonna be teaching you guys top rock. Oh, all right? Top so rock. first, okay. you wanna have your feet shoulder width apart, mm -hmm. knees slightly bent, okay. and arms crossed in front. Very nice. Okay, now you wanna take your right foot and step in front of your left and open your arms at the same time. Almost like you're saying what's up to somebody. Like a friend. Okay, right? okay. cool, cool. And step. What's up? Very awesome. nice, awesome. very nice. Now you're gonna come back to center, cross your arms, and now you're gonna repeat on the other side. Okay. And okay. remember to open your arms like, what's, what's up? up? Very oh, nice. nice, guys, yeah. very nice. <laughs> now come back to center. And that's top rock. So we're gonna go left, I mean, right. Yeah. Center, yeah. left foot, center. Yeah. Right foot, center, Yeah, okay. left foot, center. Like this? That's it, you're getting it, yeah. Okay, this Easy is enough, this right? It's really hard. Keep working, okay. you'll get there. Okay, so now let's try that step to some music. Oh, awesome, oh, awesome. Oh boy. Who's, who's, who, you, who do you wanna go? John, Me, you go oh, first. Okay, okay, come on, come on, come on. Okay. awesome. Oh. All right, you ready? Yeah, and? Hit it. Ooh, 
nice, John. Hey, man. Nice, John. Not bad for your first time. Oh, thank you, thank you. Brandon, what about you? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come on. Come on, man. You got it. Come on. Show us. You got it. Okay. Okay. <sighs> do the thing. I mean, hit it. Let's do it. Yeah. Am I doing it? Nice. You, um, you really think so? You're a natural. You really think so? How'd you do that? I don't know. I just, I, I, I just let the music move me, right? It was awesome. Oh. No, 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 seriously. How did you do that? So uh, thanks for coming on the show today, Parker. We should do it again someday. No doubt. Maybe next time you guys could teach me something. Ah. <laughs> All right. Catch you later, guys. All right. Bye. <laughs> wow, that was really a lot of fun. How did you do that? It's Bible story time with Cameron. Hey, fellas. Oh, our friend Kellen is taking a break, so Cameron is filling in for him this month. How's it going, Cameron? Can't complain. What's up with you guys? We were just break dancing. How did you do? What story you got for us today, Cameron? Well, it's funny that you were dancing because today's story has some dancing in it too. You see, King David. Ta da! I like to think about the dancing. Horvath. Horvath, that's my name. <laughs> did you want to help tell the story today? Let's do this. All right. Just in case you haven't met Horvath. That's my name. Right. This is how this works. I'll tell the Bible story, and whenever Horvath feels inspired, he'll jump in with an exercise that'll help us remember what the story's about. That's right! Yeah, I combine the mental trainings of learning the Bibles with the physical trainings of making your muscles bigger. All right, let's do this! Here we go. David was the king of Israel, and he wanted to bring the ark back to Jerusalem. The arks! Okay, first exercise. I call this, watch out for the floodings. We will do swimming motions for 38 hours, like this. Wait, 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 Horvath. Uh, that's not the ark I'm talking about. Noah's ark? No, that was a big boat. The ark I'm talking about was a special box that contained the original Ten Commandments. Some say it even had the actual presence of God. This ark was also called the Ark of Covenant, or the Ark of the Lord. So... No swimmies? No, no swimmies. <laughs> All right, let's do this. The Ark of the Lord had been stolen and had been away from Jerusalem for a long time. So King David and 30,000 of his best soldiers left Jerusalem to go and get the Ark. All right, first exercise. I call this exercise marching to the Ark really, really fast. We will march as fast as we can doing high knees like this. Do them with me. Do them with me, and we will do this until we get okay. all the way to the ark. Ah, go! Ah. Uh, I'll just... <laughs> so, King David and his soldiers went to where the ark of the Lord was being kept, the house of a man named Obed-Edom. Ah! Ah, ah, ah. Dance! how did you beat me here? <gasps> <laughs> you okay, Horvath? You need to take a minute. I keep telling the stories. Oh, sure. When they found the ark, they put it on a cart and set out for Jerusalem. After only six steps, David sacrificed a bull and a fat calf as a way to honor God. Second exercises. I call this one six step calf squat. First you squat like this. Then you take six steps in place while squatting. One, six. Then you leap in the air with your arms meshed together like an axe and swing them down to a squat when you land like this. <sighs> we will do this 473 times. Oh, man. Go. One, one six, six, one, <laughs> eight feet. 
To who? <sighs> Mailbox. Candy. 473. All right. What happened next, Cameron? Well, King David returned the Ark of the Lord to Jerusalem as planned. And he was so excited, he didn't even care that he wasn't dressed like a king when he got there. He danced with all his might before God and everyone wearing only some priestly undergarments. Oh, third exercise. I call this David dance party. Are you going to dance? I get embarrassed. Oh, <laughs> well, when David's wife, McCall, saw him dancing like that in front of everyone, she was really unhappy. She didn't think a king was supposed to act that way in public. Oh, fourth exercise! I call this one miserly McCall trunk rotation. So you stand tall with your noses in the air like this. Then you fold your arms tightly like this. Then you rotate your trunk like this. We will do this five and a half times. A half? Go! One. For breeze. Half. What's next? After the celebration, McCall told King David that he had made a fool of himself in front of everyone. Because of dancing? Yup. But, but he was only dancing because he was excited about the boats returning to the cities. Uh, <laughs> the Ark of the Lord was not a boat. No swimming. But you're right. David was dancing because he wanted to celebrate what God had done. He told McCall that it didn't matter who saw him do it. Honoring God was more important than honoring himself. Oh, oh, I understand. So even if dancing embarrasses me, I should do it if it honors God? I mean, you don't have to dance. No, no, I will dance to celebrate God. David dance party part two, here goes. Five, six, three, he's 29. <laughs> Way to go. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Wait, tell the story really fast one more time. Oh, okay, uh, go. David went to go get the ark. Marching to the ark. <laughs> they put the ark on a cart and took six steps. <laughs> oh, oh, six step calf squat, go. One, 28. Ooh. When they got to Jerusalem, David danced before God. David dance party. But McCall was disappointed. Miserly Michael, trunk rotation. So David said celebrating God was more important than how he looked. David Day's body part two. <laughs> Excellent, Horvath. Ah! Oh. Oh. oh, okay. Look. Okay. Ah! Horvath's gonna just keep dancing. Ah! The end, fellas. Wow, I love that story. David wasn't scared to show everyone how grateful he was to God. Yeah, he just went for it. Yup, there are tons of different ways to celebrate what God has done for us. We don't have to dress a certain way or act like everyone else. We can be loud, we can be quiet, we can stand out from the crowd. <laughs> we can do whatever he's doing. That's great, Cameron. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. No problem. Um, okay. See ya. <laughs> I've got a question. Okay, then reveal. No, 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 no. How do you know how to break dance? Everybody's got a little dancing in them, John. You just gotta let it come out. No, really. Reveal the question. Oh, hey, what are creative ways to show gratitude? You can dance. Uh -huh. Uh, you can give someone a gift. You can tell someone how you learn to break dance. <laughs> there are a lot of ways to show God and others how grateful you are. So talk about it with someone. And we'll see you next time on the- Teach me! The So-and-So Show. Teach me. Yeah. Well, Boogaloo, you have to kind of stand this way straight and you shake. Just like shake really fast. You shake oh. so fast until you, until you vanish in thin air. Yeah. Am I gone? Uh, Am I gone? Keep trying. No, keep okay. trying, Parker. Uh, All right. Uh, Shake as fast as you can. It's the electric boogaloo. Uh, Am I gone? No. How you doing, Parker? No, that's right. Huh? That's, I'm doing that's, it right? That's the way you do it. That's what it's all about. <laughs> <laughs>
Did you remember while you were watching it to thank God for John and Brandon? That's okay if you didn't. Next time you will. You won't forget next time. So right now, I want to talk about something that I am so thankful for. Um, I forgot to tell you that, you know, they gave you a definition of gratitude, which is letting others know you see how they've helped you. And I, that ties into our memory verse and what we're going to talk about. I don't know if you guys know this, but when I get videos of you doing your memory verses, I am so grateful. I am really grateful. And I say, I thank God for this person. I thank God for their parents. Thank God that I have some kiddos who want to learn about God and are doing it like a little bit through me. So I'm so grateful when I get your guys' memory verses. I want you to know that. I want to let you know that I'm grateful. So in case you don't know, memory verses. Every month we get a new one. Sometimes I do two levels of one. This month I will. Um, and if you tell me your memory verse, and I know it's a little bit tricky because I don't see you every Sunday. If you send me a video or FaceTime me or email me or something, bring it to me. Get a treat. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding about it. And it's not like a butterscotch flavored dum-dum. It's like a good treat, okay, guys? Um, and I actually just ran out of our good treats with my last drop-off. And I think I'm going to up my game for November. I think if I get some more kiddos sending me, it's going to be better. I'm not going to tell you what it is. It was a full-size box of M&Ms last time. But this time it's going to be better than a full-size box of M&Ms, okay? So we are going to do our memory verse which comes from the book of Psalm, Psalms, it is a Psalm from the book of Psalms, which some of that is kind of all about our, our whole theme this month, right? Being grateful, telling God that we're grateful for him. So, and this verse is like the shining example of it. We're going to do two levels. We have our versity, which is like our varsity. So that is, what did I say before? Like, first grade and up, first grade and up, um, or if you're feeling really snazzy and like you can do it, go ahead, jump on the versity. However, if you look at your versity verse and you're like, whew, Miss Jessie, that's a lot of words. We got you. We got junior versity. So like kindergarten below, somewhere like that, or just anybody who wants to like start out small with small chunks, okay? That's our junior versity. And if you do that, same price, same price for everybody. Do what you can, but it's so good to memorize verses, okay? So, I am going to cover up. Let's see how well this works. Okay, this is our junior versity, JV, and then we'll do the versity. And it's Psalm 136, 1, okay? Verse 1. So, the first one for junior versity, I just want you guys to memorize this. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. That should be in your heart already. It's not, if not, it's okay. Let's put it there right now. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. Got it? Psalm 136, verse 1. Got it? Now we're going to move on to, so this is like, this is junior versity, the JVs. Now, if you look at that and you're like, Miss Jessie, Duh, that's in my heart. I got it. I want to, I'm going to step it up. Whoop, we got another, we got another set of words for you. Give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. Psalm 136 verse 1. And that's in our New International Reader's Version. And there you go. Next week, I'll help you find that in your Bible. Um, if you need some help to do that, we'll do that during this time. But for now, let's work on just those words. We are going to give thanks to the Lord because he is good. His faithful love continues forever. Psalm 136, verse 1. Okie dokie, guys. So, we got our memory verse down, so that means it is prayer time. And just like memory verse, that is something that you can totally help me with. And I am so also very, very grateful when I get things to help with prayer. I love it when you send me videos. Um, I can put the video on with my video or I can just tell friends or I can keep it to myself. Um, but either way, if you have a prayer request and you have something that you want 
um, the church to pray for you or your family or your sister or your cat about, just let me know. Let me know. Send me a video. Send me a text. Um, email. I don't know if messenger pigeons know where I live, but we can try it. We can try it, okay? So, here we go. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for um, the wonderful month of November and the holiday that reminds us to be grateful, um, not just for our lives, but for the lives of those around us and the life that you've given us and the life of your son, who you've given us an amazing book to learn from. Uh, Lord, we are so thankful. We're thankful for being thankful. We're thankful for reminders to be thankful. Um, and I thank you so much for uh, the kiddos that we get to teach and the lessons that we get to teach. And I pray that we're all having a really good November. I pray that everybody stays healthy. I pray that everybody stays happy. And I pray that we move into this holiday season with just the happiest, most grateful hearts that honor you. Thank you so much, Lord, for all you've done. Amen. Okay, guys, that is all I have for this week. Um, it might be a little bit short for a couple weeks here. Things are a little crazy in my house these days, um, but it's okay. Hopefully, we'll be back to normal before you know it. Hopefully, we'll have some fun games. Who knows? Maybe I'll get the slime on again. I don't know. Not today. Not today, though. So, you guys have a great week. Send me those memory verses. I'm going to make sure you get a treat, and it's going to be delicious. Uh, I love you, and I'll see you, or you'll see me, next week. Bye.